Next question would go first to Wes Barr. How quickly could we expect, if you were sheriff, uh, for all deputies to have dashboard cams and body cams? Yeah, thanks, Jim. Uh, you know, I support the use of body cams. Uh, the, f the fact is, is we do need to take a measured approach. Uh, the legislator, there's a legislative committee held hearings in Chicago last Friday, I believe it was, uh, and they had representatives there from law enforcement, representatives from the fraternal of police, the unions, uh, civil liberty advocates, and, and they what they're talking about is law enforcement uh, agencies in Salmon County needs to slow down, take a, a measure approach, because right now we do not have an eavesdropping law in the state of Illinois that would allow the use of body cameras. And so they're trying to figure out, is this going to be a statewide policy that all agencies have to follow, or they're going to allow development local uh, policies? And then we need to, to try to determine what, what is the actual cost. It ain't just the the purchase of the cameras, that's the easy part. You know, you gotta look at storage of data, privacy issues, you know, are they allowed to be used when we walk into people's homes? You know, if we're walking into somebody's home and they're a victim of a burglary, should that type of thing be video or taped and video recorded? You know, and the storage of data, we're, we're a 24 hour, seven day a week operation with the minimum of five deputies at any one time on the street. Where are we going to store all that data? And then you got to look at the FOIA uh, background, what is going to be FOIAble and what is not going to be FOIAble. And whatever is FOIAble, it ain't like right now it's fairly easy where you can just print the report, take a black marker, redact any information, private information that is not allowed to be uh, given out, make another copy report and hand it out. But you got to pay somebody to sit there and watch the, the tape, edit the tape, and be able to, you know, uh, be certified that they're going to be doing uh, the right thing. Uh, I support the equipping all of our squad cars with dash cameras while we're working through this process. The county board has already agreed to that. I've been attending the jail committee meeting for months, and this they've been talking about this issue. Uh, we currently have 12 squad cars that have dashboard, dashboard cameras. We're getting to order nine more that they will have. So that's half the fleet right there. So in another year or two, all patrol deputies will have uh, – dash cameras in their, in their squad cars. And I think we can work through this process and start saving money and be ready for when all these other issues are worked out with body cameras. I do believe it's going that way. I mean, and it's good. I think, it, you know, it protects the, the officer and it protects the, the, the community. Jeff Regan, body cameras, dash cameras, how quickly could we expect them under a Sheriff Regan? Yeah, if I'm elected, you know, transparency is, is an absolute um, trust-gaining uh, um, component of the sheriff's office so we'll, we're going to be transparent and we will have dash cams and we will have body cameras uh, currently the sheriff's office has uh, equipment that can be reinstalled uh, in patrol vehicles uh, the policy uh, beforehand has been as discretionary whether the officer wanted that camera equipment in their car or not when i'm elected i can tell you it won't be a discretionary it will be mandated as far as the body camera, it's obvious my, my opponent hasn't done a lot of research on this. The, the equipment that I'm looking at is affordable. It's, uh, it comes with a, uh, a ruggedized camera that uh, is controlled by supervisors. It's cloud-based data storage. It's uh, literally a plug-and-play, uh, and it protects the uh, integrity of the, of the uh, video and all the images and audio that's captured on it with this equipment, and we're going to be using it. And as far as the policy goes, uh, Jim, you know I'm a policy guy. Illinois is going to get a policy. Other states have already rolled this equipment out, and they're operating on current policies. It's just a question of the of the courts fast tracking this. Uh, they know that they know the citizens of Illinois demand it, and so do so do the agencies that are going to be uh, be using it. So transparency uh, again is going to be a, a clear component um, and it's going to be mandated as far as uh, dash cams and and really all technology goes so and it's affordable I'm going to be using grants uh, soliciting grants from the Illinois Criminal Justice Authority as well as the Department of Justice who in is as we speak is looking at grant funds for uh, local agencies to purchase this equipment so my policy my plan is going to be ready to go uh, the day that this uh, is implemented uh, with the courts and uh, uh, in the state of Illinois. So we're not waiting. Uh, we're, I'm not going to take a measured approach. I'm, I'm going to be leaning forward in this. And uh, and as the sheriff's office uh, gains traction in, in the acquisition and the policy development, uh, we'll be ready to roll the day that uh, we need to.